uh, I think it's pretty obvious, um, you know, the glaring stat, uh, you know, 28 turnovers, 18 in the first half, and 26 points off the turnovers is the, the difference in the game. Um, we tried to – this and, and, you know, the media that's been here before, this is not pressed Virginia. Now they, they're aggressive. They play up the line. They take things away. Um, but we tried to simulate it the last couple days. Uh, I, I knew it would be tough, but I, I did not anticipate this. And uh, they make you play basketball, and you got to make basketball reads. You know, if there's if you can't you, – you call a set and it's not there – you know, now you got to – somebody's just got to catch and you just got to play basketball. And, uh, you know, once we uh, went south with that part of it, uh, you know, we, I think we got very tentative. Uh, credit to our guys. Uh, you know, they did not quit. We cut it to eight. We have a wide open three. Uh, we don't make it. But then they get us on the back door and then back-to-back -back threes that um, obviously is the difference in the game. But you hit that three maybe – you cut it to five, you got a little, you got a game and, and you've made a huge comeback, but uh, we did it and it went the other way. Um, you know, we, in practice, we, we, we talked a lot about fighting for things, stepping off, but they have to go through it and understand it. And the first, first couple of possessions, they're taking away passes. Now you got to go, you got to really play strong and make the next cut and make the, get a pass going and then take advantage of them. Um, but, uh, obviously we didn't and, you know, got our butts kicked. So, uh, we, you know, the rebounding, some of that is because, um, you know, the rebounding difference is we, we turned it over so much that we, they didn't have as many rebounds, but we did hold them the five offensive rebounds, which is really, really good. Cause normally they miss, um, or they, they rebound 50% or approximately 50% of their, their misses. So we, that part of it, I thought our half court defense, other than a handful of possessions was really good, but it's, it's hard to make up a bunch of pick sixes that, uh, you know, that not only kill your spirit, but give them easy hoops and make it easier on their offense. Thank you, coach. Uh, first question to Kellis Robinette. Is there anything you could do stylistically to help this, this offense get going in the next couple games? Well, I, hopefully Nigel helps and gets us into our stuff. Um, you know, each game's a little different, and that's your, your problem with in this league. And I told them after we're playing in the best league against top teams in the country, we have five of the next six, or, uh, including this one our top 15 teams. So, and each one has a little different style. So every game you got to adjust, it just doesn't come. Um, and, you know, today you had to play basketball. You had to pass, catch, play strong, make, you know, put them in a bind. Uh, you know, Baylor, they're going to ice everything and ice switch. And, you know, you, you got to read their different, their different uh, defense. And then the next game is something different. So uh, that's, that's our problem right now. And we're, you know, we are, we are young, we are new. Uh, you know, but, you know, we still got to get better. There's, there's, I'm not making excuses. We got to get better, and that's all there is to it. And uh, we, I do think we need to get it inside. We ran several sets. We had talked about getting inside. We thought we'd get Culver in foul trouble, we, which we actually did, and uh, he fouled out. But, uh, you know, there were, there were a handful of other time that uh, – you know, we had opportunities to throw it in the paint, and we didn't do that. And we we got it. We got to start doing that because obviously, three for fifteen from three. Even though two or three, two, three, four of those were wide open, we just didn't make them. And uh, you know, we haven't shot as many threes, but part of that is because we haven't taken care of the ball. So. And will will Nigel be back against Baylor? You think? Yeah, he'll be back. But okay. obviously, you haven't played for seventeen days, and and. Uh, now he'll, I'll work him out tomorrow. Um, Got to get some good conditioning and two good days of practice and, and just hope he can, you know, fight through 15, 20 minutes, uh, which hopefully will help us in the long run. And then, you know, we all have to stay healthy and, and see if we can get everybody back. And then you got that last 10 and then see what we're about. That's, that's what it's going to be, how much we improve and get to that point where, 
are we are we a, a team that we thought we could be at at some point in the season and that's going to be the the legacy we're going to leave thanks bruce uh, next question to john kurtz Hey Bruce, just with the, in particular a young team like this, how much more difficult is it becoming just to keep everybody's spirits up and, and keep everybody's head in the right place as, as the losses have mounted up here? Yeah, I think the, you know, the guys have done a great job. I, I thought if you came to practice, you would see they had great spirit. Um, I think we, it takes a punch in the face by a team, or, and when I use that as a term, it's obviously we're not the physical punch, but somebody to be aggressive to make them step up and understand how hard they got to play. Um, you know, I would, I would like that to change. My first, one of my big words on the board was urgency and uh, urgency from the start of the game, urgency in every possession, urgency is stepping off, urgency with taking care of the ball, uh, playing strong, all those things. So, um, you know, they, but they, they come back, the kids come back much faster than the coaches do. I think our coaches have done a good job. Uh, we, you know, we have not blamed any individual. It's all of ours. It's all of our responsibility. And uh, we just got to get better. And I, I, I hope they believe that and see if we can, uh, you know, use all these experiences and, and this adversity to, to come together as a group. That's the most important thing and make a run uh, here as we get into this last stretch of the season. Has this been just for you personally as tough a stretch as you've experienced here at K State? Uh, it, it, it's frustrating to be honest. When we it, you call some, you want something, just you'd hope that you could get into some offense, some of that. But uh, you know, we it has not been easy to, to say the least. And the whole year, uh, I, I I talked to Coach Kleiman the other day. He he went through it, you know, and. I guess survived a little better than us, but he had, you know, a few, maybe a few older guys. I don't know. Um, but it, it is, it's been hard for everybody. I uh, talked to coach hugs before the game and, and he, he said, this is not fun and, it, and it's not fun for anyone. And uh, you know, it, it, and then when you throw in all the stuff we've had from injuries to uh, the COVID to the contact tracing, not practicing all those things, I, I told the guys, we did some drills, some toughness drills in practice the last two days that should have been done in the first 20 days of practice, but we never got to those. So now you're scrambling and trying to do those drills. And, you know, so it's not their fault. It's not our fault. All you can do is keep uh, battling, believing, and helping the kids. That's all I can – that's all we can do as a staff and hope they keep believing in. I thought, again, our defense was pretty good. I thought our rebounding was better. But obviously, the turnovers was uh, was not very good. Appreciate it, Bruce. Thanks. Yep. Uh, next question for Tim Fitzgerald. Hey, Coach. Ever since the uh, Fort Hayes State game, it's looked like you guys have been pretty locked in. Um, and even though you might be outmatched in some games, the guys really gave you good effort. Dude, how did, would you define the effort in the early phases of this game? I think. I think they, the effort was good. I, I don't, you know, the understanding of how hard you have to play, how hard you have to cut, how you have to step off, all of those things, just that understanding, um, you know, is, is probably wasn't there. Uh, there, you know, there's no doubt. But the, you know, our guys, our guys care. They play. They, I mean, we're we're getting our butts kicked, and what we have four points at about 12 minutes or something. I don't even know. And you know, but we kept guarding. We kept battling. Um, you know, it's not always smart play, but we play, and uh, it gives us a chance. Uh, you know, it, now they win the play hard, and, and, you know, some of that they had, what, 13 steals or whatever. So that it's tough to uh, overcome that on that. So it's uh, – we just got to – we got to play smarter. I, I think the kids care. They, they, if they didn't care, they wouldn't – we wouldn't have cut it to eight with a chance to cut it to five. So it's uh, – you know, that, that, you know, I, I appreciate our guys. We tell them all the time. We love them, appreciate them, and we're just there to help them. How do you teach a young team at this point in the season to value the ball, value possessions a little more than they are? Yeah, I think, you know, some of it was basic entry passes. Some yeah. of it was, some of it then they get you, you know, now you make some mistakes. Now you, 
you get you play in a hectic pace. Uh, you know, we got to be a little smarter, a little let things come. Don't let them dictate how we play. Um, you know, it, 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 and then look inside it, you know, but again, part of it, we couldn't look inside cause we couldn't get that first entry pass to even look inside some of the time. So, uh, you know, it, it, it it's, uh, you know, we, we talked about it and we talked about it with our guys. We have a few drills that we do every day and we continue to turn it over and we've done some running, um, you know, and, and we might have to, as Coach Southwell said, we used to have drills when they first got, when I first got here, they turned it over, they ran to the top of the arena. And the next time you come down, next, when you get down, you get back in, you do it again. So um, I, I don't want to punish them, but I do, some, somewhere they got to understand that the value in that ball, ball security means job security. Uh, and giving yourself a chance to stay in the game and giving yourself a chance to win games. So it's got to it's got to be something we get better at. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Uh, next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, from the uh, Texas Tech game, or I'm sorry, TCU game to the Texas Tech game, it seemed in that Tech game there was side-to-side -side ball movement, motion, but the progression since then has kind of been lacking. How do you how do you put pinpoint that? Put your finger on something. I think there's one person. I think we all know who it is. He hasn't been there since that Texas Tech game. Um, you know, he 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 gives us a, a ball handle. He gives us a shooter. He gives us composure. He gives us intelligence. And you know, nothing against the other guys. Uh, it's you know, you need a guy that can run the show and and even though he's a freshman uh he gave us that opportunity the problem is now we got to put a lot of pressure on him and he hasn't played basketball in a while but i know he wants me back he would have played today if if they would have allowed him to but uh you know just like casey just like you know other guys it takes a, a little bit of time to to get back and you know our goal we got to get have a great week see if we can go to Baylor and compete and then got a game Saturday that uh, we got to be ready to play at a, at a play good basketball and and that that's the important thing right now and early in the game you seem to be uh, kind of sharing the reps so to speak at point guard was that to kind of alleviate some of the pressure that they put on you oh uh, they that was yes we were just trying to somebody get it up Rudy struggled early um, you know we gave it to Selton we thought we'd be able to you know, but it, it's just understanding that can't make that lazy cut. It's not like doing five on zero. And we did a little bit of it in practice. Coaches and GAs talked a little trash. Uh, they didn't like it, but then now they understand what it's about. And, uh, and again, I, oh, God, I would hate to have gone against Press Virginia with this group. It would have been, uh, you know, we may have never got the ball past half court. So, but uh, – you know, it, it's again, it, everything is a learning lesson. And that, uh, you know, now what do they do with it? That's the whole thing. Do they change and learn? Is this a game where you try to prepare by going like five on seven in practice or some gimmick like that? Oh, but you know, it's not really pressing. That's the thing. And, and you know, we, the coaches got up on top of them. They took things away. They, you know, and they, they made them make plays. But again, this is, you got coaches that are older and, and, you know, our little bit of our scout team that, that could be there, you know, Joey, Drew, some of the guys that give us a, tried to give us a look, but, uh, you know, we pressed five on six, but they're really, the press had nothing to do with the game. It just, it was just getting into offense. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, last question to Arnie Green. Yeah, Bruce, late in the, Late in the first half, you went with Casey and Davion at the same time a little bit. Is that something you might explore doing yeah. in the future? Or? Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt, um, you know, and maybe we should have went with it. They went big, and we just said, heck with it, we'll go big. And, uh, you know, can, can we guard? You know, that'll be the big thing. I talked on the last press conference, um, you know, the future, when you look at it, you know, can you go big and, and do that and still – uh, and still be able to guard teams. And, um, you know, I, I thought they gave us a good look. They gave us some, you know, obviously some physicality. Um, 
And even those two guys both had it. They didn't get it enough, but they had a couple opportunities. They could have finished too uh, around the hoop. That would have made a difference. So, uh, but it, it, it's definitely something we, we may, cause they're, if they're two of our better players and their field goal percentages, again, one's two for three and the other one's two for three. So they're, I think if you look at the stats on the year and we showed it to the players, you know, it's 65 or 60 some percent for them might want to take a little more time and, and patience and get the ball inside.